Hi there, my name's Cam and welcome to another video about Salesforce Marketing Cloud. In today's video, we're going to use the Slack API to send a message into Slack from Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So Salesforce published an article about how they intend to use Slack in the future. And it got me thinking, what if we could use Slack to send a message from Marketing Cloud into a Slack channel to let us know if something happens in Marketing Cloud? Now, there are already some connectors that you can use to achieve this, but for today, we're going to build it ourselves using the Slack API. So first things first, we need to create an app in Slack. I put a link to this page in the description below. Once we give our app a name and we choose the workspace to deploy it onto, we can press create app. To post messages from external sources, such as Marketing Cloud, we need to enable the incoming webhooks functionality. We can do this by clicking on webhooks and then changing the status from off to on. Now that our webhooks are enabled, we need to choose a channel in our designated workspace to send a message to. For this example, I'll choose myself as the destination channel. However, you can choose any channel in your workspace. And once we press allow, we'll get a message saying that our Slack app has been integrated with this channel. Now let's test out the Webhook API. To do this, I'll be using the Postman app, and there's a link to this program in the description below. So the first thing we'll need is the URL or the destination for this API call. We can copy this from our Webhook URLs. Next, we can go into Postman and create a new API. Here, we can paste our URL destination. Then we have to make sure that the URL is using the post method, which we can change here. And finally, this webhook API requires some data in it. And for this, we're going to use the text is equal to hello world. We can copy this from the API documentation and paste it into our body, making sure that the format is text. With all that done, we can press the send button in the top right hand corner to initiate this API call. And after a couple of seconds, we'll see an OK response and a message appearing in our Slack channel. The Slack message came from our app name and the text that was sent is the same as the text we included in our API body. We can go back into Postman and change the text body to put something else in, and then press the send button again. And now we'll see our custom text come into our Slack channel. So we've proven the API works. Now let's take this endpoint and develop it in a cloud page inside Salesforce Marketing Cloud. To do this, I'll go into Marketing Cloud and create a new cloud page landing page. And using some AMP script, I can put in the new post request that we need to trigger this API. This time, I'll use the text message of hello from SFMC Cloud Page. And once our AMP script code is complete, I can press the schedule and publish button. And with an OK response, we've received a message in our Slack channel. So we've got the post call working in AMP script. Let's now try it out using server side JavaScript. Once I've finished rewriting the API call in server-side JavaScript, I'll again press the Schedule and Publish button. And a second later, I'll get a notification from my channel saying, now this is SSJS. So now we have a tested and working SSJS activity. Let's now move this script into a script activity in Automation Studio. And now that we've moved this into a script activity, let's change the message to read this is SSJS automated, then press run. This one took about 30 seconds to come through, but when it did, we can see our new message has come through into our Slack channel. And that's it. We've now made a server-side JavaScript activity that can connect with our Slack channel to let us know updates during a Salesforce Marketing Cloud automation. Now, I'll let your imagination run wild as to what kinds of messages you could send from Marketing Cloud into Slack. I'm thinking some process updates, such as when a FTP file has been imported or a data extension SQL has been completed. And don't forget, you can use the treat as content in server-side JavaScript to run AMP script, which means you could run things like a row count function to let your Slack channel know how many rows there are in your completed data extension. Now that we've finished testing the Slack API, I don't intend to use this app in production, so I'll go back and clean up after myself by disabling the web connectors and then deleting the application in the Slack UI. 
Once the webhooks have been turned off and the app has been deleted, you receive a notification in your Slack channel that the integration has been removed. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Slack API today. If you have, don't forget to leave a like. If you can think of some cool ways to use this in your instance, then leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel since you're notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.